What's up basketball fans? Welcome back to Trash Stop. Back with me Rocky Padilla and today we're in Bali and I have Boston Celtics star Jalen Brown with me. How you doing Jalen? What's up my man? <laughs> Welcome to the show man. Appreciate you. Thanks. So how you liking Bali so far? It's dope man. It's beautiful. Great city man. I gotta come back. And then First question, Boston Celtics, great organization. What is it like to be a Boston Celtic? It's amazing. Good teammates, you know, good organization, good coach, and we win. And we win. All other stuff is, is fine. It's just good when we win. And then I saw you working out with, uh, with T-Mac, Tracy McGrady. So how did you come up with that, uh, working out with T-Mac? How did that come about? Growing up, that was my favorite player, man. I used to watch every move like of Tracy McGrady. So uh, when I got older, when I got to the NBA, it only made sense to just reach out to him and ask if I can get a workout in with him. And he says, yeah, a lot of guys ask him, and not a lot of guys show up. So my thing was I wanted to come and get some work, and I learned so much. I got so much better in that time that I spent with him, and I appreciate it for that. Which part of your game, though, you work with him? Mid-range game, uh, footwork, you know what I mean, the in-between stuff, hitting tough shots, things like that. Things that make you from a, a, a regular player to a great player in uh, T-Mac. Besides the injuries, was for sure, Hall of Famer. Of course, I agree with you. But uh, did you guys play one-on-one? Mm-hmm. We win? He won, he won a few. We played, we played a bunch of games. Okay. Yeah, so we went back and forth. It was good, man. And for me, it was just a... A, a learning experience for me, you know. It's like the, when the student goes to to the master, uh -huh. you know, trying to figure things out. So we played some stuff, and it was it made me uncomfortable. We played one on one, no dribbles, and you can't dribble at all. And he's six nine, so he could just shoot, shoot, and he could still shoot. So like I had to figure out how to shoot over a six nine person without taking no dribbles. That's tough, though. Exactly. So I figured it out, but we, it, was, it was pretty good. Uh -huh. And then uh, you were in Paris for the Fashion Week, and you meet with Virgil Abloh of Off White. He's really big in Indonesia. So, uh, how how was that though? Uh, just shaking his hand was enough for me. I've actually never met him before. Mm -hmm. He doesn't know. He probably doesn't even know who I am, and that's fine for just me. I like to see when people do things that's never been done before. For him to be the first person of color to be a designer for Louis Vuitton was dope for me to be able to witness. And it gave me so much inspiration, you know, just shaking his hand and, and saying some words to him was enough. He probably doesn't know or remember anything that I said to him. But, you know, for me, you know, as a youth, I'm 21 years old. He just opened so many doors, he doesn't even know. Is that your favorite brand? Off-White? You could say mm -hmm. that. I support it, 100%. I got a lot of brands that I like. I like outside-of-the-box stuff, but Off-White is up there for sure. So if you could describe your style, how, you, how would you describe it? Uh, I wouldn't. If I had to, I wouldn't describe it. You know, I kind of I'm into what I'm into. You know, and things change, fast change, and I get new inspiration. But I, I draw a lot of inspiration from Asian culture. You know, I, I grew up watching like all the, the movies, the Into the Dragons, the all of the Jet Li, Jackie Chan. Oh, I didn't the, know that. All you're in, of those you're into that? Movies. Yeah, like all of that. <laughs> so. My, my, my style is a lot heavily influenced by that. So talking about fashion, you were at the SPs last week, and then uh, your boy, my guy, Donovan Mitchell, got on that spider suit. What do you think about that? It's fire. I told him that too. The suit was fire from start to, from head to toe, and then it matched his brand. Like he's a superstar in the making, mm -hmm. so it's good to be be cool with him and see him on his transcendence. And, and things like that, it inspires you to, to be better too. So that got your uh, approval? Yeah. Got my approval for sure, dude. <laughs> I was a fire suit, my bro, for sure. And then we met in Las Vegas last week. I want to know your reaction though. Some random guy from Indonesia came up to you like, hey, you coming to Indonesia? I saw your face, you were like, kind of shop. <laughs> Can you take us through that moment? <laughs> Um, yeah, I guess you could say I was shocked. I mean, how many? I don't. I've not met too many people from Indonesia, mm -hmm. for sure. And I didn't think that anybody was gonna come up to me in Vegas and ask me if I was going to Indonesia. Yes, I'll be in Jakarta in the next few days. And I'm looking forward to it. I'm super excited. 
So I actually appreciate you for, for reaching out, you know, to, to make everything a little bit easier. Yeah. Thanks for the invitation, though. No for problem, coming man. to Bali, man. I really appreciate. Guy. I really appreciate it. This is really fun, though. The last four days, mm -hmm. I really enjoyed myself. Yes, sir. So we got what? We got six more days in Jakarta. Yes, sir. So appreciate this. Coming soon, baby. Make sure you guys come meet this guy in Jakarta, and he will do junior NBA also clinics in Jakarta. So check that out. Jalen, thanks guy. for the interview. Appreciate, appreciate you, bro. You. Always. So guys, don't forget to follow Jalen Brown on Instagram at FCHWPO, or just type in my name if you can't remember that. <laughs> oh yeah, how did that name come about? Forget what Faith, that. consistency, hard work pays off. That's what I stand by, that's what I live, live for. I used to write it on my shoes, I still write it on my shoes, and, and it's paid off and manifested in so many ways. So that's good. really dope, I just know about that. That's really dope. So guys, don't forget to like this video, comment, and subscribe to my channel, and we'll see you guys next video. Peace.